So this lesson is going to show you how you can use the knife tool to create a hook-like effect. So we actually had somebody that uh, was a member of the Scrappy-Doo uh, classroom for sure cuts a lot for member she asked this question and she wanted to know how can we make this w that you see right here go through the ring uh very much like that you see right here all right it's a little hook effect where the ring looks like it's right on top of that w going through there so how can we do this in sure cuts a lot well i i started off right here uh, so this is what she sent me so what i told her is what we need to do is we need to place this text uh, on a clipboard because we're going to be destroying this text here and we want a good copy of it so we can go back to it okay so i'm just going to copy to my clipboard for now now uh, i am going to select the knife if you do not see the knife tool right here if you push and left click hold you'll have these two options the knife tool is what uh, you're going to use for this and basically, I'm going to slice this right down the middle. And you're going to notice that my word has became transparent. That's because uh, basically it's an open path. If you don't know what an open path is, watch the video on open path. Uh, however, in order to do some path operations that we're going to need to do next, we need to have a closed path. And a closed path to us represents a solid type of letter, just like this is right here. So with our selector selected, I can go ahead and select this little leaflet of that W, and I'm going to turn it solid by right-clicking. I'm going to go to Path, and I'm going to go to Close Path. Now I can do some path operations with it. Now, if you remember those videos of front minus back, back minus front, how do, how do you know which one to use in this case? Well, in this case, we want to uh, basically hollow out a path here for this little leaf or this hook all right so if you take a look at our layer panel our ring is on the bottom this flappy text is on top so because we want to keep the ring if we had the choice of front minus back or back minus front since the ring is on the back we will choose what we want to keep so we go to path back minus front and at that point we now have a nice chunk missing out of our ring and that is Perfect. All right. So now we're basically done with this text. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this, delete this as well. And I'm going to go to edit, paste in place. Now at this point, uh, it really doesn't look like we changed much to it. Um, now we could change the order around to, to make it look like we did. But if we're going to use this for vinyl, we don't want to you know, lay this ring on top of the word here. Uh, I mean, we can if we want. If that's where you want to do, that's fine. We'll stop here. However, I think we can we can change this up so that it all looks like it's one single layer when we uh, apply this to vinyl, for example. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go back to where this was. The this text was on top. So. I'm going to select the ring here real quick and I want to copy that to my clipboard okay so I'm gonna hit copy with the ring selected and the text selected I held the shift button down I want to keep the text at this point alright so I'm going to basically remove this chunk of the W right there so how can I do that I want to keep the text um, Basically, I want to keep the text, and what that means is I'm going to lose the ring. So uh, the text is on the top. It's on the front. So I'm going to go to Path, Front minus Back. All right. Now, at that point, I have a nice chunk missing out of my W for the wifey. And all I have to do next is I have to go to Edit, Paste in Place. And now I have that exact same look that I was going for. And when I click Preview... You can sort of see what happens here. So anyways, uh, hopefully you enjoyed that lesson. Uh, hopefully you sort of understood the hook effect. Now, if you are more of a reader, uh, this lesson is actually on the Craft Edge website. Uh, under tutorials, if you look over at Hook, uh, he gave you a nice hook lesson to go through. All right, if you are 
the type of person that likes to uh, read on how to do this. All right. So he does it a little bit different, but the same effect holds true with what we did in this video. All right. So I hope you like this lesson. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Uh, check out our Shortcuts sure A Lot for classroom that we have. Uh, lots of lots of students take it. They learn a lot from the classroom. And like I said, we have over four hours of video lessons just going over shortcuts, a lot of stuff that isn't actually on our YouTube channel. So make sure you check that out at classroom.scrappydoo.com, and I'll see you next time.